The Supreme Court just heard oral argument in the debt relief cases, which will be a major issue with respect to higher education, also a major issue with respect to the allocation of authority between Congress and the executive branch. In both of these cases, the question is whether or not the Department of Education had the authority to enter into loan forgiveness based on authority from a statute back in 2003. In one case, it's a state that is bringing that claim. In the other case, a private individual bringing that claim. I think in both cases, standing is a serious challenge. So the question here is not with somebody upset about what the Department of Education did, it's with they themselves, or was an institution itself, or was a state itself actually injured in some way. It's not clear in this case that anyone was injured. Arguably, one state agency in Missouri was injured, but they're not a party to the case. As Justice Kagan said during the oral argument, the authorization from Congress appears to be clear. The authorization says, in connection with a national emergency, COVID is certainly a national emergency. Even after it expires, this debt relief was in connection with a national emergency, and it is allowed to do debt relief. Chief Justice Roberts, in particular, seemed very concerned with the size of it. But there's nothing in the statute, or for that matter in doctrine, that says that the delegation is limited by the number of dollars involved. We expect this case will be decided by the 30th of June, and one of two things will happen. The court will uphold the authority of the administration, or the court will hear the case, go to the merits, and decide to strike down the government's plan. Most people think that if that happens, the next thing the Department of Education will do is extend that suspension while they make the next plan. It's very unlikely that as of July 1st, those debts will be due again, either because debt relief will go into effect or because the suspension will be continued on into the fall.